headed in towards the finish. It took a long time for a breakaway to become established, but in solids, uh, 80 kilometers to go. It's Amber Crack of Team Jumbo Visma that went on the offensive. The former rower who picked up her first win as a pro recently in the Limburg Classic hit the punishing slopes of the cobbled Moschus Strat which is fast becoming an iconic climb in this area. It featured in the World Road Race Championships last year. Behind, though, many riders coming to a halt, including Taylor Wiles of Trek. The Sega Fredo, the slippery cobblestones, tough to get going again as uh, you come to a halt. Crack, though, was joined at the front by Neve Fisher-Black, Paulina Royakas, Shin Van Anroy, Paolo Patino and also Liana Lippert. It was the start of a dangerous group. And this would be very much the pattern for the rest of the race to come. The young New Zealander from Team SD Works was looking to try and establish a move at the front, but the ominous presence of Liana Lippert perhaps was the reason that things were brought back under control. Many teams at the front are keen to keep things under control for Trek Segafredo. They are world champion Elisa Balsamo in the team. Alison Jackson had led teammate Marta Jaskulska into the climb. And the young Polish rider launched a move over the top, which would take another dangerous group clear with Swiss champion Marlon Reusser through to the front. And it would be the power of Reusser that would take the group off the front. The peloton, though, was splintering into groups behind the tough finishing circuits. Would whittle the groups down to a very select few. Cassia Nuvia Doma, Liana Lippert, Sylvia Persico, Nee Fisher Black had also made it into the group. Alcini had been dropped on the Mosca Strat. Vittoria Guazzini of F. Nouvelle Aquitaine for Churoscope Lute Adagast, also of IBC team. On to the Hertzstrat. 37 kilometers to go. The gap was down to 30 seconds.
Jumbo Visma had brought things close enough for Corin Lebecki to launch herself across the gap. And with 37 kilometers to go, it was all back together yet again. Damie Vollering had made it into the mix. It was Paulina Royakers that launched the move with 28 kilometers to go. The teammate of Cassia Nuvia Doma, though, took Damie Vollering with her. And uh, these two riders would work well together. Damy Vollering looking to pick up her first victory of 2022. They were in sight of the chasing group that included the likes of Mavi Garcia. <laughs> Lippert, Juliette Labus, Shirin Van Aan Roy in there for Trek Sagan Fredo, the young Dutch rider was showing great class. Juliette Labus of Team DSM went on the attack to try and get up to the group. She closed within 10 seconds. The second and third groups though would Come back together and this would allow world champion Balsamo back into the mix. At the top of the climb, Vollering looked back, saw that Labus was starting to get close. On to the Mosca Strat though, and Vollering managed to distance Roy Akers on its steep slopes, maxing out at just under 15%. The final ascent of this climb, it would be all about Damy Vollering from this point on. Second place in Amstel Gold at the weekend. She had missed out on Brabant Appeal in 2021, edged out in a photo finish to Ruth Winder, the American national champion of Trek Segafredo. She was leaving nothing to chance uh, this time. Roy Akers, though, was swept up by the group behind Lippert. And Labus from DSM with Marlen Reusser of SD Works getting a free ride in towards a finish.
Wallering though was extending her gap all the time and was going to have the opportunity to enjoy the victory. Nuvia Doma though. on the SBOC for the final time was looking to try and drag and disintegrate the group behind Lippert was still with her Vollering though takes her first victory well on next week and also a defence of Liège passed on Liège Nuvia Doma crossed the line for second just ahead of Lippert while Marlon Reusser has to settle for four a perfectly executed team victory yet again for Team SD Works, delivering Damie Vollering to the win. The bell for Vlaamen. And then start on the Turkish final, and then we have a heel feestelijk moment. Then a lastige course, a heel lastige edition. It is a slijtage slag to worden. Grote schifting in the wedstrijd gekregen. And this zijn uiteindelijk de sterkste drie gebleken. Van vandaag heel knap podium met op de derde plaats geëindigd uit Duitsland. Lianne Lippert met een heel mooie tweede plaats voor de Poolse Katarzyna Nibiadoma. En in het midden, kijk ze stralen, kijk naar die brede glimlachjes al verminder. In het midden, de winnaar.